phone is like acting. All right, so I've been working on a bunch of riffs for new songs so we can get this new record done. I want you guys to check them out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 just, just hang on, just listen, just listen, all right? Yeah, see? I guess. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, that, that is, that is... I don't know. Like, the closest sound to, like, dog shit I could ever... Dude. Or, it's like... No, 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 you're not, you're not hearing me, okay. Okay, hey. all right, listen to this one. That slams. I don't care that's, what you say. That slams. That's cat shit. But cat shit. First it was dog shit. Now it's cat shit. Yeah, yeah. it's like more, like more pussy like. That you know what I'm talking about. That slams. That's awesome. Uh, um, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna delete those. First of all, please fucking god delete those. And then I'm gonna get out of the truck, and you're gonna write a decent thing riff. Okay, dude. That's what we're gonna do. You just, you know, John, you with me, right? Bye -bye. Guys, guys. What the? This week we're going to be talking about something that kind of plagues all of us uh, musicians over time and it's am I too old for this shit? So <clears throat> there's really no right or wrong answer to this in my opinion. Now, this is just me talking. Uh, if you want a short answer, no. If you want me to break down the longer answer, then I don't know. You know, it depends on kind of what you have going on in your life, what your expectations were when you got into this versus what your expectations are now versus what your expectations are in five years. Really to me, you're only as old as you admit to being in a way. And like I said, it, it really depends on what you want out of the whole thing. If you wanna just be in a band just to hang out with some friends and play some shows every once in a while and just kind of rock out, then no, you're never too old. If you're in your late 40s and you're trying to hang out with kids that are 20 or something like that, you know, I don't know. I kind of don't think that there's any kind of an age cutoff. To me, it's really about what, like I said, what you want and what works for your life. If you're doing this and it is being detrimental to your lifestyle, to your family, to your job, to something like that, then you kind of need to figure some stuff out. You need to do a little bit of searching and find a way to make it all work. You don't ever want to take away from the most important thing being your family. Lots of us have families. I know two of us in this band have families. So it's, you know, it's, it's a very delicate situation at times and you really need to work it out just right to make the whole thing work. We know people that are in heavy bands like this that are in their 40s and 50s and still going out there and kicking ass every weekend. Just kind of depends on what you want, what you want to do. If you're trying to go for some label or something like that, and you're, you know, a little older, go for it. Do whatever makes you happy. You know, don't let your age or something like that stop you from doing what you want to do. Go for it anyways. Who gives a shit what anybody's got to say? Who cares how old you are? If you have that dream, if you have that thing that you want to do, then Put your nose to the grind and go get it done. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you can't go do something, that you can't accomplish a goal. Set your goal and go out there and get the shit done. You know, me, myself, I'm 35. I've been doing this for a long time. There's a lot of people that will tell you if you haven't made it by the time you're 25 or 28 or 30, something like that, then it's never gonna happen for you. In the old days, you would listen to stuff like that. But this is a new generation. This is a whole new game that we're doing now. It isn't you're, you get a band and you get good or even kind of good and you go get a record deal. It's not like that anymore. You can have a band that sucks, but you can get a million turns on Spotify, you know, or 
however many hundred thousands of you know plays on whatever platform, you don't need a label anymore. You know, we haven't had a label in a long time. You know, we've talked to a few. If everything fell in the right situation, you know, we'll see. You really don't need it. So there is this kind of a, a gray area, you know, for you have to be this age to succeed. You know, you can succeed at any age. There's lots of people who change careers later on in life and have very successful ones. It doesn't matter anymore. Most, or not most, but I mean, there's a, a lots and lots of bands that are completely independent, that are older and still putting out records constantly and getting millions of plays and millions of views on YouTube and, and all that kind of stuff. So my answer to that is fuck no, age doesn't matter. You do whatever you want to do, you do what makes you happy as long as it isn't hurting anybody else or hurting your family, just do it. This is one of those jobs that makes me very happy to do. For us to get in here and mix it up and put out some really aggressive music and shake the walls and all that, that's what I love. I love doing that in here with these guys. These two dudes in particular, they're the best. And I love being in a band with them. And that's how you should be in the band that you're in. You know, me and Cole are 11 years apart in age. It doesn't make a bit of difference. Me and John, I believe, are six years apart in age. It doesn't matter. We come together and we make everything that we do work. And we make it work perfectly. And that's what you need to always keep in mind. That nothing else matters except you guys coming together and making it work for the sake of the band and the sake of the music. All right, in the previous videos, we said that we were going to start answering any questions that you guys leave in the comment sections of these videos. Well, the last video was pretty long, so this one, we're gonna keep it pretty short. We're gonna answer this one. The question comes from Mr. Murfcat, good friend of mine for a very long time. His question is, who is the most handsome man? Honestly, the answer is really simple. It's you, buddy. It's always been you. And it's always going to be you. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the Motivation Monday video for this week. If you like this video, make sure you please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing and becoming one of the TVO TV crew. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you're getting all the notifications for all the videos that we're putting out every single Monday. If you want to support us even further, we'll leave some links in the comment section below. You can pick up our latest record, The Great American Overdose. You can follow us online, uh, all our social media sites. We'll make sure to put them in there. Thank you guys so very much. We'll see you guys next week.